It's a little chilly out here right now, but got to make a video anyway, right? That's what we do. Welcome back, Nature Boy 3000. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be addressing the topic of pheromones in regards to retention, right? So, you know, you have to understand everything I'm about to say is truly my own experience and there's not a whole lot of studies done on pheromones and a lot of people will have you believe that they're not even real but i'm here today to share my experience with you and i definitely think that they are very real ask anyone who's on who's been on retention and they'll tell you that to some degree their body might smell different or it might look different Right? It's just, we have a lot of indicators that change the way we look, smell, feel, when we simply retain. The problem with the men or whoever's doing these studies is, you know, they, they don't know anything about retention. They, they don't know anything about this lifestyle. And they're basically making claims from a place that doesn't explore the whole picture. That's the problem. Right. They have a very narrow minded view, which is going to lead to narrow minded results. So but if you ask the bros, you ask our brothers, what do you think? Right. Well, well oftentimes they're going to say yes. And I agree with them wholeheartedly. I mean, you look at the animal kingdom, you look at animals in general and olfactory olfaction and smells and, and just pheromones is a lot to do with the reproductive process and, and the reproductive process just theme of the animal kingdom you know and we're no different we're no different it's just the problem begins when the man continues to release his seed never letting it reach its full potential he never lets it reach 30 days 60 days 90 days most men can't do that which is why we're so different which is why we claim all these superpowers is because we're doing something that's inherently very difficult for the modern day man to do. But this is exactly why he struggles in this area of his life when it comes to dating, when it comes to mating, right? But as I've said before, a lot of this just comes down to allowing your body to do what it wants to do and to do what it does best. Do you really think that evolution and humankind being born and procreated over these years and over the thousands of years is just a fluke no right it's just men at the dawn of technology have adopted the habit of pornography and watching it to numb themselves and releasing way too frequently and thus robbing themselves of all that makes them beautiful all that makes them worthy of a mate right so just taking back that power alone is enough to inspire you and should motivate you to want to do this right and just look at how you feel if you don't believe me right try it for yourself so pheromones though you know i came across this this interesting topic where bulls aren't allowed to be around the females because if they are they're going to release way too much and the problem with releasing way too much with the females is actually it lowers the chance of breeding in the future so you've actually got to let bulls right male cows retain for some time for about a month let them their their seed mature because that in, increases the chance of breeding it increases the successful chance of passing on they're, you know, to the next offspring. And in the same light, we are the same way, where we kind of need to let things mature in ourselves, the sperm is mature in ourselves, so that we can have access to the animal side of ourselves, right? So that women instinctually can see these subtle changes, smell these subtle changes that we are oblivious to, but they are engineered and hardwired to pick up on. 
right? Just because you don't see them or you don't, you know, you, I'm odorless, you know, like you, there, there must be things going on and there is, right? There's a lot going on that we cannot see. Basically, you have to let yourself reach your reproductive peak, right? Because the way you've currently been living, you've probably been down here where, with every other male, right? But every so often and very far in between, there's men who have the discipline to see retention through and allow their semen to mature. And therefore, they're going to get a certain response when it comes to the opposite sex. The opposite sex notices this. And th they are, like I said, hardwired to want to reproduce with men who have taken the time to have the integrity to not release so much. So pheromones is just one of the ways you begin to physiologically change when you embark on retention, right? You, your face changes, your voice changes, just the subtle little looks on yourself and your body and your tonality and your confidence that radiates and permeates to other people in ways that you, like I said, aren't going to be able to tell yourself, but other people around you will see it, right? Because now you are coming into your reproductive peak. You think a deep voice, right? That's also a biological signal of a worthy mate. Right, so it's more than just pheromones, but since that's the topic of today's video, I did look into another study that was done. Don't, you know, bash me if I don't cite these studies. I'm just here to share them with you casually. That's all I'm doing. So there was one that was done. It was in some <laughs> European country. Um, and the scientists basically collected women's tears from watching sad movies and they presented it to men and they were they smelled it they had no idea what they were smelling but they just wanted to see how they would respond to that type of aromatic scent right so lo and behold <laughs> they were turned off by that right men's testosterone decreased their levels of arousal went down and basically it was like telling the man, hey, you know what, now is not a good time to procreate his physiology, right? He didn't even have to know the context of what that unknown substance he was smelling was. His body knew that it was sad tears, right? So I'm thinking that in the same way that there are pheromones and smells that can turn a human off, there has to be, there has to be pheromones, smells, aromatic scents that turn people on, right? But that's, that's, that's where it starts to bridge the gap between, okay, the science and the raw data says, okay, you know what? Pheromones aren't true. You know, humans don't have that. Or do you try it for yourself? See, you know, in, in an intimate setting, I don't know how you would experiment with that. You know, you can get creative and just see for yourself. Right, I'm in the camp that I think that is very true, right? That's there. Like, that's part of human beings. Like, we are a very intelligent organism that can read the context of another human being on all kinds of levels with all our senses, right? We are super intelligent. And like I said, just because you can't see it, just because you can't smell it, just because you can't imagine it, doesn't mean that it's not there. It's very there. It's very true. And I'm not trying to get spiritual on you. I'm not trying to get woo woo. I'm just saying there's a lot more in this life than what scientists claim to be real. Okay. So hope that got you thinking and definitely go 30 days. See for yourself, right? There's a lot more to retention than simply just retaining. Obviously that results in more women attraction. But this is a very interesting start. And I hope I raise more curiosity in you. Then before you watch the video, I wanna get you thinking about how this works, right? We're all still learning together. That's why we watch these videos. That's why we explore these topics. It's because they're interesting, right? We wanna advantage, we, excuse me, we want something, we wanna make sense of the mysticism, right? So I'm here with you, sharing this gem with you, can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, 
comment, and subscribe. Much love to you. Peace.